Esteban, Esteban. Well done, man. Well done. Well done, man. <laughs> Hello, viewers. How's it going? I'm here in Monaco for the Gran Turismo World Finals. Let's go in and have a look. So this is the set where the finals will take place. All the players will be sat here. And there's uh, quite a lot going on. I've been told I can race against the Sophie AI, which is going to be really cool. Uh, Esteban Ocon is here, apparently. I've got to try and find him. And then we're going to do a Pro-Am media race. So quite a few activities. Okay, guys, I made a video a few months ago about the Sophie AI. I've been given a chance to race against it. So let's go and do it. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Hi. You think I can beat Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> we are not sure. We're not we'll sure, we'll okay. Find out. We'll give it a go. Anyone think I can win? That's <laughs> <laughs> or no, right? Let's get into it then. All right, there she is, guys. Let's do it. There we go guys, two and a half seconds off per lap. I think I've got a bit more pace to find. <laughs> good yep. luck, all the best. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> so that's Jordan of uh, GT Planet. He's gonna have a go now, see if he can do it. Guys, you won't believe who I just found. <laughs> that's good news, though. Oh, Mr. Look who it is. Look Mr. Here. Tax Johnson. Mr. Tax Johnson here, man. That's me, He's that's back. me. Uh, go follow Super GT and uh, <laughs> Never forget to delete yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, now I've got to qualify for the Pro-Am event. Um, Red Bull Ring Group 3 cars turned up a bit late, but I need to get on some laps. As you can see, I'm 10. I need to get up here somewhere. There we go, that's a bit better. He won. That's where we're going to stay, buddy. That's where we're going to stay. We're watching the other heats. We have to finish top three in our heat. And then we go through to the Pro-Am final, where Esteban Ocon will be racing. We're going to do it, Si. Absolutely, mate. Back-to-back -back world champs for me. <laughs> You'll keep your status as the Pro-Am goat, won't you? <laughs> We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, Super GT, YouTube extraordinaire. Uh, not as good as to be Robin on YouTube, but you know, one day, <laughs> maybe he'll get that. <laughs> there we go. Well done, my friend. Well done. There we go. All right, we're racing against Esteban Ocon. Where is he? I'm really happy to be here. Really happy to, to share the experience with, with, uh, with you guys. Um, as you know, Grand Turismo is a big, big place in my heart. Um, I would be a totally different driver if I was, uh, you know, not starting. If I didn't start on Grand Turismo when I was younger. So wonderful. Thank you very much, Esteban Ocon, everybody. Okay, it's time for the final race. Up against Esteban Ocon. He's on pole position. We're starting at the front. Let's do it. In fact, he's just... He'll be on the next rig just here. There he is. ...the grid for the grand final for the Pro-Am race here for the 2022 Gran Turismo World Series World Finals in Monaco. They're all lined up and it is Esteban Ocon who will start this race on pole position. Killian Drummond behind the wheel at the moment with Super GT's machine alongside. The Lights out and we go racing as we come up the rise into towards turn one for the first time of 15. So Esteban Ocon from Super GT then. Here comes Super GT already trying to move to the inside of Killian Drummond. Is they going to leave them possibly under attack here from Toyota in third place as they come out of turn one on the run into turn two and then the heavy braking zone of turn three. Everybody in the slipstream.
Street behind the race leader. Let's see whether they can take advantage of that and make any moves stick. I think they're a bit too far away, at least in the top three, but a bit further back, they're quite bunched up. Here we go then, Toyota lunging down the inside of Super GT and also costing a position there as well with Dave Gaming going through into third. Yeah, Sim Heidman there and a Toyota, big lunge there, good move. I say maybe a big, <laughs> good move, it gone to second, where the stewards agree, we'll see. We go now down to the second right hander, another place to overtake here. Dave Gaming still in third place, so it's uh, Team Archon, Team Toyota, Team Dave Gaming, the top three at the moment. Of course, reminder, prizes for our top three. We've got 15 laps to get through first before we think about any of that. At the moment, it's Ocon the leads, Toyota second. So through the left hand, we go. This is the middle sector of the lap. So it is uh, German versus German in the... Uh, battle for second place not in terms of the manufacturers but in terms of the drivers let's have another look and see if we can piece together what happened there this thing is a bit further back i think traction are going to be under the walls here here we go mercedes then go to the inside line and nerfing themselves into uh it drew there as well so that cost them both a fair bit of time oh and traction got spin, spun round at the exit of the corner too yeah, that was a proper gt3 lunge there from uh from uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that jones is off jones had a big moment there at the last corner maybe helped there by dave Gibbing. we didn't see the replay of that but now uh, team Dave keeping up the second place with the applause of his three or four fans in the audience. It's great to have <laughs> a dedicated audience here. But meanwhile, Super GT now trying to find his way back past Dave Gaming side by side as we run up towards the, uh, the right hand. Another overtaking spot up here. Team Toyota, though, in the background. There's door bagging there as we come up to the braking zone. Toyota lifts the outside. Super GT back up into second place. Now Dave Gaming right on the back of the uh, AMG in front. The team Toyota just slotting in behind the now, but I think just waiting for their opportunity. Yeah, this is going to be interesting down towards turn four. So Super GT knows that goes for the defensive line. Dave Gaming trying for the outside, then it's turn four. Bit of hip and shoulder as they come in towards the right hand. Oh, bang! Toyota into the rear wing of the Porsche, then. Goodness me, it's all kicking off here, isn't it? Between second, third, and fourth. And all the while this is continuing on, Jimmy, it's Christmas come early for Killian Drummond at the front. Super GT uh, has done a good job so far, but it's no doubt that Toyota is very, very quick at the moment. Moving up now to the back of the rear wing of the Mercedes in front. Super GT with a better exit at the moment, but it's going to be a matter of time before we see perhaps a move for Team Toyota. The gap now only at four tenths of a second. So it's still the battle between Mercedes and Toyota for second in this race. Here is Super GT, here is Tim Heidemann very close behind one another. Lap 6 out of 15, we are on. The hard tyres are on these machines at the moment. Will we see any runners blinking? Because this is now the first opportunity that they will have to do so here in this race, flicking it through into the left and then the right. It's interesting to see how it plays out here between these guys, whether we'll see the divergence in strategies beginning to uh, come into effect into the penultimate corner. We go Toyota really close to the back of Mercedes over the lunge down the inside. That's late into the penultimate corner, leading on one another, and they both <laughs> come into the pit lane there. So a bit of rough housing between Super GT with Steve. He's just got out of the car um, for Team Mercedes in third place at the moment. Cyber Bishop's gone in. See if I can just get out of him here. Hello, Steve, mate. Um, that was an interesting pit entry there. Yeah, it was a nice little race on the way in, and we've made a mistake because we put the hards back on. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh no, Steve! Okay, so we accidentally put the uh, the hard tyres back on again. So this race is going to be quite hard now. Team then, so that's going to be difficult now for Si. I mean, the, the hard tyre around here is quite a sizable bit slower. Though the Killian Drew Mont, of course, our manufacturer's champion is part of Super Bowl Get Out now. And Esteban Ocon, F1 race winner, will get into the car. Oh, and Steve, you can bring this one home first. I've just heard from the Super Bowl yet. Ocon going for the defensive line, Milana surely is going to go for the attack into turn three, is he close enough though, into the braking zone, he certainly is, he's going to go for the dive, but Ocon goes defensive, Milana to the outside of turn three, side by side, they go, oh, Can I get a fist pump? Yes, 
Esteban, Esteban. Well done, man. Well done. Well done, man. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't race together, but yeah. uh, we took the alternate strategy. Next time. Next time. Okay. Next time. With pleasure. Good race. <laughs> Thanks, man. So, show, anyway. What happened there, mate? It had, a, it had a brain fade, didn't I, mate? We, we obviously would have won. We obviously would have won, um, but we just wanted to give everyone a chance. Um, but no, it was a good race. It was fun. It was a pleasure to race Esteban, even if we weren't really that near him, but good still experience. a pleasure. Bye bye, Michelin Man. The Michelin Man has been taken away for another time. Nice bottle job, bro. <laughs> Sag. Sag. <laughs> Have you heard of the High Elves? <laughs> okay, we're surrounded by World Tour players, right? So it's a good idea to try and get some advice on how to get better. What's the advice? What do we have to do? Just got to practice, just keep practicing, do the laps. Do the laps, keep going. churn out the laps. How'd you get quicker, mate? Uh, How'd you do it? Race multiple EB drivers. <laughs> okay. Put them on fraud walk. How'd you get quicker at this game? How'd you do it? Uh, carefully. Carefully? Carefully. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Some uh, interesting and mixed advice there. First tip, be fast. Yeah. Second tip, be fast. Yeah. Third tip, put everyone to the shadow realm. Put everyone in the shadow realm. That's all you gotta do. Lots and lots of hours of driving and complete dumb luck. My God given talent. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from you. Learn from Super GT. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're in the right place, guys. Just keep watching Super GT videos. How do we do it, mate? Don't break too late, mate. Don't break too late. Mm -hmm. Just play the game. Get better, really. That's, <laughs> Get that's all it is. Practice. Just bunt everyone off. <laughs> guys, you've got no excuse for being the best in the world now. Come on. These tips are incredible. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. Yeah. Kill him. Well done, mate. Hey, well done. Thank you. Dan. Well done, mate. Well done. Thank you. Okay, that was the manufacturers. Well done to Subaru for the win. Now it's time for the Nations Cup. And they're unveiling the new Ferrari VGT in there. It was a controversial ending to the Nations Cup. Let me know your thoughts. I need a drink. <laughs>